Hey there YouTube, this is Dan Stern with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we have a quick question from our one of our viewers, Chris Hicks. In it, he has a workbook that cycles through a bunch of random numbers, almost like a lottery system. So he says, enter the number of players uh, in T2, so right now it's 60, press the update numbers button, then press the random numbers button to select three random numbers. So. Uh, I'm going to skip that part because the random numbers part is the part that throws them off. So I'm going to go ahead and click it and I'll show you what happens. Now you may not hear this, but in my ear, every time the um, every time it goes to another calculation, it beeps. So that's kind of cool. You might not be able to hear it. But it flashes like that, and that's his whole problem. He doesn't want it to flash or blink or or whatever it does. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the code. Hit Alt F11 with me. And here is the code in Module 1. He has a, um, a code here that you might want to take a look at. The private declare uh, sub. That is the sleep library kernel 32 um, and DW milliseconds as long. All that crap is some code that you can copy and paste basically in order to um, in order to allow, uh, I think it, it helps pause for uh, a number of seconds or milliseconds or something like this. And uh, that's how it cycles through each number. Anyway, um, the main thing that he wants to get rid of is that darn blinking. So let's troubleshoot a few things here. Um, as it rotates through, let's just take a look at his code. First of all, this is cool. He says application dot status bar equals choosing random numbers. So down here, it's going to say choosing random numbers. Then he loops from 10 to 340, stepping by tens. So it'll be 10, and then I will be 20, and then it'll be 30, 40, all the way up to 340. And then it beeps, calculates. That's when the codes come in, switches through the numbers here. That's all very clever. And then going through here, um, active sheep dot shapes, and he named the shapes uh, group 38. And group 38 is these lights that one will turn off and then one will turn on. So one of the three will be true. Uh, group items one dot visible equals true. And so the middle one is blanked out in that scenario. If the, if the value is one, in uh, I guess I don't know if what cell it's one of these cells around here anyway that being said and it goes through and makes the all this is to update those lights it's all very clever very very clever using the shapes okay now here's where we get to some interesting things so my first inclination is to check out the application dot calculation so let's go ahead and comment out this and even the screen update right here um, and you know what let's go ahead and um, yeah so the application dot screen updating is true at the very end let's just forget anything to do with the screen updating and now let's click random numbers beep 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 it's beeping a whole bunch of times see if it flashes here. Now it's beeping again. Okay, and it still flashes. Don't like that so much. Um, let's, uh, let's just run it to here and see what happens. And then we'll start uh, going line by line if, if it didn't flash already. Okay, it hasn't flashed yet, so that's good. Let's hit F8, 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 F8. Okay, did you see that? Uh, okay, there is another instance of delete. Whenever it took the entire row, dot delete. Let's go to the next one. Number two is 175. We see that here. 
and set num lookup equals so he's doing a find he's trying to find 175 in this list here I guess um, so uh, and he finds the range number lookup dot address equals b81 so b81 is down here somewhere and anyway it deletes that row right here and that's when it flashes I think we found the culprit so instead of doing entire row dot delete, let's see if we can find another creative way to do these. Let's see, there's there's one more delete. So I'm going to go ahead and flag this one and this one and this one. That way we can jump to the previous or next flag like this, the next and previous bookmark arrows. Okay, so what we want to do, I think instead of dot delete, we want to take the entire row dot, how about clear contents? That probably won't make it flash because it's not having to delete and resize and reshape the whole entire workbook. So let's take the next one, entire row dot clear contents. And what we'll do is if he insists on it being resized, you can always take this range and just have it dynamically shuffle it. Or uh, not shuffle, goodness. Um, sort dynamically. Sort that. Let's go to the next one. Dot. Dot clear contents. Okay, just to see, is that all of them? One, two, three. Okay, that's all those. Let's hit F5. Um, just for fun, let's just run it again. And I know it won't delete the the entire row, and you'll see some blanks there, but we'll at least see if it doesn't flash this time. We can probably even put screen updating back on and the calculation. Yep, okay, so. Um, oh, well, okay, let's see. Let's see, B14. Where's B14? It's right here. So instead of deleting the row, we're going to take B14 and we're just going to take that entire row and clear the contents. So you see what we did? We didn't delete the row and resize everything so it didn't flash. So let's just go through to the last one, clear contents, blah blah blah. And then when we get here there is an extra step but it will not flash anymore. Let's get the last row. LR equals... Let's see... This workbook dot sheets, and we'll the sheet is called number game in quote in parentheses dot cells rows dot count comma it's in column A, so we're going to put one for the first column dot end going up and then dot row. That's how you get the last row, and we explain that in detail in my basic series. So that's the last row. Then we need to we need to get some code for for sorting. So we'll probably go ahead and just record that ourselves. Let's see, let's finish off this one here, and um, we'll start right back off here in a second. Let's go ahead and record one. Uh, and then we'll make it dynamic. Oops. All right. Let's see. Uh developer tab record macro we'll call this sort random it doesn't matter what we call it we're just going to copy and paste from here all right so take this shift right control shift down oops there we are okay so there's our big list here we're going to go to the data ribbon click on sort and uh, we're going to sort it by random numbers list because that's the only header that we have it's this one basically by column A so click OK what that does is it basically takes any blanks shoves them to the bottom which is essentially what deleting does sort of but I mean sorting that list basically just throws the empty stuff as if it never existed just like that so now you have uh, or whatever you can sort it by column B if you wanted to if you wanted these to all be in the numerical order so but anyway let's uh, go to developer tab and stop recording now hit alt F11 
Let's take a look at what we just recorded. Mm, forget about scrolling. Forget about selecting that range. <sighs> blah blah blah. Okay, here we go. Active workbook dot worksheets number game dot sword sort feels clear. Everything down to here is all about sorting. So control X, we're gonna cut and we're going to paste it right here where we left off. And we'll put a little note that says sort. Now we're gonna get a little bit creative here. So um the when we're talking about the range that we're sorting right here which bleeds on to the next line we want a 11 through a join that with whatever the last row is so a 11 through a last row see that so if, if the last row was equal to 50 it would be a 11 through a 50 so we'll just do that a little bit here uh, sort on values, ascending, XL sort normal. And actually, I think we agree that we wanted to use B11 through B, whatever the last row is, because I think he wanted these in numerical order. So with active workbook dot worksheets number game dot sort, and with that we want the dot set range to be range. Let's just cheat. We'll just copy and paste that. The range is going to be B11 through B whatever. And the header, yes, the header sort of exists. It's random numbers list. Um, match case, false. Top to bottom, pinion, and the dot apply is when it happens. So let's stop it here and let's just see how that works for us. So we're going to go ahead and run the code. Let's click random numbers and it will, it'll stop us right when we get to the last row part and we'll finish it up okay so let's see here I'll take that stop marker on hit of five so we want it to stop here so this is going to find the current last row last row is 118 so we're going to take this and any former sort fields we're going to clear them out now we're going to create basically a new one in a second. So we're going to say the sort fields are basically, there's only one, it's column B, and it's this range, B11 through B118. So now that's the sort fields that are set into place. Now we have to actually activate it with this next part. With blah 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 dot sort, and then the set range is going to be B11 through B118. And all that it has a header, blah blah blah. Now when I get to apply, you might want to see this. When I hit apply, let's go to the very bottom. You'll see it applying the sort. Well, what happened there? Uh. Oh. Haha. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. All right. So let's see, the range that we need to use is actually A11 through B118. That's what it, but it's going to sort only by column B. So the sort fields is B through B because we're sorting by column B. So whoops, but the entire range is right here to be sorted. So let's do that again. Hopefully it'll, it'll mess it up a little bit, but had we done it the last time. Oh, what, in the, what in the world? <laughs> Let me start that over. Last row. Sort fields. Apply. Hmm. It might be that those are. Are those functions? No, nope, those are solid numbers. 
but I think some of these uh, I'm going to clear some of these out hitting the delete key here and hitting the delete key let's click on update numbers maybe that part is going to redo all our numbers yeah it, re it redid 60 numbers here for us so that makes a little bit better sense with that being said let's go ahead and try our code now. So let's double check here, but so it's gone through and it's deleted a few. The last row is 130, and we're going through here, and we're going to hope that it sorts it correctly this time. So looks like it sorted all the deleted things down to the bottom. So we're good. We're good to go. Now let's take out the stop marker and just trust that it's going to work this time. So rather than the dot delete we're clearing out those cells a little bit using clear contents and then just resorting and that actually makes it not flash that's pretty much it that's almost done and it's not going to flash hmm. so the reason it's probably taken forever is number one I'm running a recording software number two I wonder what would happen if we put the screen updating stuff back on there I wonder if it's still going to flash if we still have the calculation in the screen updating drive in there. Let's click that and see what happens. Well, I can't tell, but I think it's already run. I think it's done. Yeah, it's already run its course. So, we have now eliminated the flashing. Uh, thanks for watching. God bless.